Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about filtering the locator. So let's begin. In playwright you can filter the locator based on different criteria. So when you have a multiple options you can filter based on the text and the descendant child. So there are four ways. The first one is filter by the text and the method we will be using is locator.filter and similarly not having the text the child or descendant you can filter by the child or descendant and not having the child or descendant so these are four ways you can filter the locators if you have a multiple options so for this tutorial i will be using the online channel website first we will see the scenario and then we will automate or locate the elements using this filter option so let's uh, go to the browser here and simply go to or a HRM website and here you will see that we have this login page we need to provide the username here then we need to provide the password here and then click on the login and once you are logged in now you have a multiple options here you have admin uh, pim then leave time equipment mindful and so on and if i go here and right click on this one go to inspect here so you will see that this is a ul right and ul has a multiple options here so if i uh, hover here you will see that different element will be highlighted here so here we have a multiple options so what we will do is that we can you know identify the list first and then what we will do is that we will filter based on the text here so let's go to the visual studio code here now and let me create one new test file here so i'm naming it as orange hrm then filter dot spec dot js and the first thing is that we need to import the test import uh, the test then we if we need a sessions we will use expect here and these are basically coming from uh, you know playwright so as soon as you type this one you will see that we will just get this playwright slash test so then we need to start writing our tests so test and here we need to provide a title and then the test function here so the title is basically filtering locators and now then we're using async here async and now we will incorporate the page here so the page and followed by an arrow function here and body of the arrow function so in this body what we will do is that we will be writing our test so async then we have a small brackets here and inside the small bracket so we don't need this bracket here and we need this bracket here termination so inside this we will be writing our test so using await then page dot go to and here we will go to our online channel website here so just go back here and let me log out from this one and from here let me copy this one and go back here and provide this one and after going to this website we need to locate the element so in our previous test we learned that how we can locate those ones so let me go here and here you saw that we learned that how we can use uh, the you know get by the placeholder get by the role so let me copy this one these three from here and let me go back here so the first one will fill the username the second will fill the password third one will click on this one and finally what i will do is that i will put some intentional timeout here so that we can see what is happening so here so let me save this one 
and now let's run this one npx play write test minus g and the name of the test so name of the test is filtering locators and let me provide this one here and now what i'll do is that i will run in the edit mode so that we can see the actual execution happening so it will open the browser it will go to our hrm demo website provide the username and password click on login and now we are on the dashboard so once user will land here now what we will do is that we will locate uh, this leave option here using the uh, filter by the text option okay so uh, simply what i will do is that let me put some comments here so filter by text and again here await sorry go here await page dot then get by role and the role is basically a list item here so what i'll do is that i will provide list then list item because the list and then dot filter and filter will be based on the criteria here so i will say has text and colon then i will provide the text here so let's go back here and see what is the text so let me log in again here and see what is the text so let's go log in so for the leave option here so let's open this one so this is the text let me copy this from here let's go back back here and this record provide this and once uh, this element will be filtered out so what i'll do is that i simply click on this one okay so let me save this one and now uh, let's run this again and see what happens so now uh, i have filtered from the list of options available and based on that i am clicking on the leave model so leave model has been clicked successfully and now the user is landed on the leave module so what i'll do is that the other way uh, is that i can use uh you know uh, in different way i can use like forward slash forward slash so i can use this way uh, to filter the data as well so let's run this again and see what happens so it should uh, you know again click on the leave button and uh, let's see so it's opening the application logging the user yes it clicked the leave option from the list and yes it's working absolutely fine now the second way is that you know filtering by the descendant or the child element so here i will comment this out and simply let me add more comment here so now we will be using filter by child slash descendant okay and here simply await page dot get by role and again the role will be the list item here list item and now uh, the other way of writing the code is that instead of writing the whole complete line in, in a single way so what we can do is that simply we can uh, use this way dot here then again dot and uh, it will be make us code more readable and more easy to understand so simply filter and again here in filter we need to, to provide the locator of the descendant element so we have a list and we have a descendant elements in it so what i'll do is that simply yes then colon then 
I need to provide the locator here. So page dot get element by let's go with the role here and what I'll say is that the role will be link here and then what I need to do is that I need to provide the name of the link. So let's go here and inspect this again here. So you will see that this is basically a link. It has a link. You see it has a link and uh, what we need is that name of the link. So basically it's a leave again. Okay. So simply what I'll do is that name colon then we will provide the leaf here and all good so simply what we will do is that now once we have look at it simply click on this one and do it again so let me confirm the number of brackets here all good click that's we are done so simply save this one and now let's run this one here and see what happens here so it should uh, filter this element by the child or descendant one and click on the leave option here so it's logging in and yes it's click on the leave so so that's how basically you can uh, filter when you have a multiple option and similarly let me give you one more example here if i go here um sorry let me go here in the browser and if i go to uh, you know leaf uh, module here again so what do you see that we have a different options available so let's go and inspect this one so you see that we have a list and inside the list we have a multiple options right so you can locate these elements using you know filter method you can have the list and list of options and from the list of the options you can filter based on the text you can filter based on the child or descendant and not having the text or not having the descendant thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial